All right. And take this one. Let's go. Let's look at the bottom. Oh, a little brown. Oops. Crispy bottom. We like crispy bottoms around here. Hey there, I'm John. And I'm Katie. And welcome to Pizza with Plants. What are we making today? Today we are making Bomba Calabrese pizza. So if you watch the channel, which you clearly should be. If they're here, they probably do. That's how that works. Oh yeah, I guess so. Huh. Okay. Yeah, well, you know, I got kicked out of college, so what do you want from me? We made, a couple weeks back, uh, we made a Bamba Calabrese, with his, which is a spicy Italian relish um, from the Calabrian region in Italy. Think a spiky, or a spicy, not spiky, that's Katie's hair. Right. Um, think spicy tapenade. Yeah. Okay. But not so not so salty. Yeah, no, not, not super salty, but savory, Tapenade's spicy, cool. just super yummy. Got a super in there. Oh, yeah. Jules, I hope you're watching. Take a drink. Uh, we're going to make a pizza with it. So, uh, and I was going to say super again. Oh, my Just God. Just real simple. The dough, we're going to do it gluten-free with the Bamba Calabrese, a little bit of feta, and that's it. So simple pizza, mm -hmm. but I think it's going to be absolutely yummy. It will highlight the flavor of the Bamba Calabrese. Yes, For we're, sure. we're going to run with that. All right. So let's make some pizza. What she said. To dress our pizza, we're gonna start with a liberal spreading of our truffle oil. Then we're gonna spread it out evenly, followed by our bomba calabrese sauce in healthy dollops, which we'll then spread around so that there's goodness in every bite. This is a big pizza. It used a lot of sauce. From there, we're just finalizing it with dollops of our Kite Hill Ricotta. Then we'll give it a wiggle and get it into the oven. napkin yep no napkins just use your arm this looks yummy what do you think use my sleeve you mean or yeah my... sleeve you know the sleeves on the arm so um, it's a little wide for the uh, pizza cutter this is rustic style dough sometimes it that's is, what you get sounds it's crunchy super crispy really super you could say <laughs> whoops that's fine oh uh, just a skinny little piece for me okay Okay. Uh, all right. Take this one. Let's go. Let's look at the bottom. Oh, a little brown. Oops. Crispy bottom. We like crispy bottoms around okay. here. Okay. Mm. I like it. Do you? I do. I feel like what immediately came to mind is it would be really good paired with sausage. Oh. And maybe that's the fennel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you are a meat eater, make this and just put some sausage on it too and you'll probably be really happy. This Bamba Calabrese is, I mean, it's great on its own, mm -hmm. but on this pizza. And I like the ricotta. Mm. Just a little dollop so mm -hmm. you get a little calming, smooth bite, creamy bite to From the, the spicy. It's a nice compliment. Mm -hmm but super simple. Not a lot of ingredients, but so packed with flavor. Yeah. Because of that, the Bamba Calabrese is... Yeah, it really stands on its own. So it doesn't need, it definitely doesn't need sausage, but... No, but um, if you felt inclined. If you felt inclined. This, this is pizza for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. That was really yummy. Yeah. Good okay. job on that sauce. And the water is starting to boil for mm -hmm. our next recipe. So uh, that's how we do things around here. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, if you be, like this. Oh, I was going to say be kind. And okay, well, you can be kind. And you can be kind by hitting like and subscribe. Ah, uh, see uh, how I worked that? That was good. That was good. Okay. Go Are ahead. you done speaking now? I am. Okay. Be kind. Eat pizza. With plants. See ya.